caution will wave here with 11 to go. Boy, that car is skinny. To, look at that thing, Larry. It has all the look that a right front tire did go down on that two car. Nice. See Kurt moving around in the car. He is okay. But his Penske mount is used up. Boy, I'll say he hit that thing up. So we'll be inside 10 laps to go for the restart, which means a single file restart. And watch the blue deuce. Here he is, middle of your screen. This is where it's going to, this is when it hurts the worst. You're right, right in the there. The you see, you saw it when it blew. Yeah. I mean, dead in the middle of right the Right in the middle of the corner. You're already back in the gas. And Kurt, again, had worked his way back onto the lead lap. It would be just like somebody walking up to you and poking you in the gut as hard as they can when it does that. He worked for 163 laps to get back on the lead lap and was running 15th when that tire let go. Kirk came in here fourth in the points, only 36 points out of the lead. Let's get down to the Hollywood Hotel. Thanks, Mike. Guys, this is an AT&T race break. We are under caution, and 10 caution flags the record for this racetrack at Las Vegas, and we have now <laughs> tacked on to that. Yep. And uh, let's take a look at uh, just some highlights. Carl Edwards back on top. We've had quite an interesting race in the first half. The story, Toyotas. Carl Edwards here battling Kyle Busch, the pole sitter, as he led some 50-plus laps. Dale Earnhardt Jr. led 17 laps in this race. Tony Stewart in the first half led six laps. Kyle Busch coming back to take the lead again before sliding back on lap 109. Tony Stewart, a right front tire after he complained that the car was tight into the wall, a hard crash. And after going to the care center, 